Hello, sexy Sagittarius with them thick, thick thighs, saving lives, baby. How are you? This reading is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Because we're listening for love, okay, okay. So if you're new to my channel, where have you been? First of all, we've missed you. We'd like for you to join. Hit that like, that share, and even subscribe. And if you like tarot, you like to know what's going to happen, and you like to have a good time, then you should come join me on Instagram when we go live on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, depending on traffic, because I live in Houston, Texas, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is happy hour. Get your questions answered, 11, 11 or 22, 22, and it's going to be all about a good time. All right, guys. If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love. High fives and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Yes, guys. I've missed you. Okay. So, it's going to be exciting the way these reads go. We're going to go into a general reading. We're going to go into singles. We're going to go into couples. And then we're going to go into all signs. Remember, everything is time stamped. You can skip to the parts you want. You can save the parts you want. And you can come book a reading with me. All right? On my link tree. Now, what we have going on up above in the celestials, we have that of the new moon solar eclipse on October 2nd. Okay, are you ready for this? In the sign of Libra, and you are working on your confidence. Somebody got their groove back. Okay, all right, Stella. All right, Stella, you got your groove back. You're looking good. You feel good about yourself. Your confidence is key. All right, on the 9th, Jupiter retrograde into the sign of Gemini. All right, pay attention to where that lies in your chart. 21 degrees, and on the 11th, Pluto goes direct 29 degrees Capricorn. Pluto is this energy, this planet. Okay, I don't care if they say it's not a planet. I'm from the old school. We believe it's a planet, okay? Pluto is transformation. It's change. It is huge things coming. Capricorn, we're talking about government. We're talking about industry. We're talking about rules and regulations. There is going to be so many things that happen while it's in that anoretic degree of 29 degrees that your mind is going to be blown. So get the popcorn. Get everything ready. Make sure you have enough food and water in your house just to in case, all right? Okay, and get you some cash on hand just in case because we don't know what's popping, okay? Now, 29 degrees in your chart. Let's say you have 29 degrees in your chart. I'm not an astrologer, but this could mean that you feel a little bit rushed in an area. Okay, so let's think about you feeling rushed in Capricorn. You feel like you're rushed about getting things done. Like you've got to get the truth out, right? So this is also about major transformations. October 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio. We about to start with some freaky stuff, baby. And, and transformation, all right? October 17th, full moon in Aries with that Venus entering into your sign. Baby, you're going to be looking hella good, okay? Sag, if you weren't already, like, super attractive, which you are, you're going to be looking extra good. And you are working with the energy of getting the answers that are much needed, okay? You are looking forward to these answers, to these decisions, and you are seeing things for what they really are. Now... This also is telling me that on October 22nd, we're going to call it those sexy Scorpios and we're going to take them out for drinks and we're going to have a great time because it's their season, baby. All right. It is their season. So let's jump into your Oracle reading. All right. So starting off your read, you have the Imun Koli, the root. All right. And this is very much focused on your IC, your home, your family, your root, your foundations. What is there? All right, you're very much focused on who you are. You're very grounded. Think about the roots of a tree. You're standing tall. You're the epitome of everything that everybody wants to be right now, okay? Your animal energy this month is that of the dog, baby, because you are loyal, you're cute, and I love you, all right? So be disciplined in your home and your community life. Your home life is going to be very important to you this month, okay? Now, when it comes to your love life, there is some unfinished business, Okay, make sure it gets done. Ow, okay, we're gonna leave it right there because everybody's on a different path. Now, overall, the eighth house is going to be very important. The eighth house is ruled by Scorpio. This is this is transformation. This is other people's money. This is intimacy. You might be really breaking down those walls of intimacy. Okay. However, we have the eight of forces coming in. There is something electrifying coming into your love life. A breakthrough, a breakup, or a break. 
a break in the stagnant energy, all right? But something is definitely coming in. And then we have Archangel Raphael coming in to heal your heart space with the eight also. This energy wants to come in and heal you from your root chakra to your heart chakra because those two are connected, all right? They are connected, my friend. I know you may not think they are, but they are. Anyways, there is a lot of heart healing going on. So what is going on generally for my beautiful sexy Sagittarius. All right, let's see here. We have a trust your intuition, okay? The red flags that you ignore today could come back and haunt you tomorrow. We have manifestation coming through. You're going to get exactly what you want and move on when it's over. Do not try to make a square peg fit into a round one. And there is possibly an air sign, sun, moon, or rising that is in the horizon for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius vibes coming in. Let's get some clues, all right? Let's get some clues. So what's up with the intuition for our beautiful, beautiful Sagittarii? What's going on? Poker face. This person acts like they're not as into you as they are. And guess what? That's a lie, okay? Because they into you. Manifestation. We need to release those things that are we are codependent on. We are trying to get out of that emotional block. We are moving on from the seduction, the temptation, the third party, okay? And what is this air sign? We are in love with an air sign, okay? And we're feeling it. We're feeling it. It's feeling good. All right, let's see. Let's see what the energy has for us, all right? What does our beautiful Sagittarius need to know? Fire sign, King of Wands vibe, Aries, Leo, Sag, coming in like a boss, baby. You are in control. You're ready to have a good time. You're ready to enjoy with the Three of Cups. You're making major decisions this month. Successful decisions. Some of y'all are having to decide between um, this, that, and the third. Take it how you want. Choose wisely like a boss okay double king in your read you could be getting recognition at work that's a beautiful energy but let's look at what these two kings want you to know so we got passion and we got logic what do they want you to know a little take it easy baby put yourself first they want you to put yourself first these two kings said okay sag pull yourself pull it baby three of cups what do we have here we have the king of cups we got an offer we're making a decision with this queen of pentacles we've got to make a choice a decision how are we going to approach because we are ready to complete this cycle, baby. Five of Pentacles said we need to heal. There's going to be financial healing also coming through for you. Overall, there is some transformations in the love life. Some of y'all are getting rid of this third party. Some of y'all are getting rid of the addiction, the temptation, and you're moving forward. Especially if this person isn't even giving you the time of day. Okay. Time to move into our sexy singles. What's going on, singles? How are you doing? How are those thighs, Sagittarius? How are those thighs? You know I love Sag energy. You know I like Sag energy so much. My moon is in Sag. You know what I like about Sag is like all the world is falling apart and Sag will still make you laugh. And they were like, it's okay. I love Sag energy. It's so like poetic. Love it. Anyways, we have a fire sign. Either that's you or them. Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, we're manifesting something good. And it's time to let go of what no longer is serving us. And some of us want to move out, move in, move up, baby. We are ready to make it happen. All right, let's see here. Singles, what do we got? I'm going to use the cats. We, oh, wait, 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 wait. What do we got going on with a fire sign first? Fire sign. What do we got? What do we got? Paradise. It feels so good with a fire sign. Happiness and joy. We're in the honeymoon phase. We are falling in love. Okay, Sag, you are you're having faith. You have been struck by love. And what are we letting go of? Addiction and codependency, releasing that, the emotional block, and we're moving out of our old ways of thinking. All right. So some of us could be moving out of an old outdated belief of love an outdated way of being the tower has happened that is the bottom of the read so there has like i said there's a huge shake up in your love life sad i like it we are focused on happiness we have the ten of cups everybody is happy everybody's feeling good and we are ready to celebrate Releasing the Ten of Wands. That is that um, toxic love, okay? We're releasing the toxic love. Yikes, Sag. 
and it's a conflict for us it's really hard for us to release it and there is some unknown information coming through with the moon remember we do have a lot of eclipse energy going on so things are very shaky so we have the tower the tower situation has brought forth like what makes me happy what makes me excited because that's what I'm going for and everything that doesn't work for me with a ton of wants I'm releasing and even though this is hard for me I'm ready to step out on faith okay so with that energy that's coming through let's get more of a vibe <laughs> what's the vibe <laughs> let's see there's also a situation at work if there's a form of a um, promotion or applying for something new you should go for it the tower wants you to know the nine of wands don't tell anybody about what's going on okay don't tell anybody how hard it is don't tell <laughs> Don't tell anybody how hard it is, all right? And don't tell anybody about a trip or travel that you want to take with the family. Watch your spending this month. I have three tens in your read. Here you are at the center of your read with the temperance, the ten of cups. Watch your drinking, all right? We want to celebrate. We want to develop. We want to have fun. And there's that king of pentacles. Some of us are going to get a lot of recognition at work, okay? Three of Cups. What is going on with this Three of Cups vibe? We have that of the Five of Pentacles. Something's been very difficult. We want to have more fun in our life. We're like, man, I just want to enjoy my life again. Queen of Swords. We'll see what that is about with the Three of Cups. Okay. We have to really make... We have the Three of Cups with the Three of Cups. So we have to make a decision. Which cup do we want to drink out of, Sag? You got options. You got things, and you got to be a little cold-hearted when you make that decision, okay? So, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands wants you to know the Queen of Cups. You are ready to just burn the house down. Like, you are done with this energy. You want to feel nurtured. You want to feel loved. You want to feel appreciated. And there's the King of Wands. Two kings in your read. You are definitely about to move up to higher levels in your career. Two queens in your read. People are talking about you, and they are saying good stuff, baby. All right? We, have want, we want to feel nurtured. What I notice here is he is all up in the schnitties. Like, he is feeling so good. He's feeling nurtured and secured. And this one, they are embracing, they are connecting all their chakras, and there is a lot about hugs and love, okay? Five of Wands, what is the energy with the five? Why is there conflict for a Sag? Pisces energy, we have that of the hangman. We don't want to surrender because we have to release something from the past with the Six of Cups. So we are stuck between what they would refer to as like a rock and a hard place, okay? What does the moon want us to know? The knave of cups. You're afraid that if you don't jump on this, it's going to it's gonna leave you. You're going to go for it. So look, you either are holding on to like this idea of like what love should be, right? This old way of thinking. And you're very much afraid to let go of what you've become very accustomed to. But there is something new coming into your life and you want this. You want this more than anything else. This person is very nurturing and very kind and very loving and it feels so good. How could you say no? So your solution in this is you're going to make a decision around that full moon and you're going to go for it. Go for it. It's going to work out in your favor because you want to build stronger roots in your home life. You want things to be secure. You want things to be happy. And that's what's coming through for you. All right. But there is a tower moment. There's a big shakeup coming in. And it's scary. So this is the part of the read where we look at um, a relationship. If you're afraid to let go of the past, okay, this person, maybe you're not in communication with them. Maybe you are. What is this person in the past represent broken um you feel like the situation is over um you need more space to think and you see their side of the story but you also see yours and you're ready to tell the truth you, and, or they're ready to tell the truth and what would they say about this broken energy i can't go another day without you sagittarius I need to work on myself. I need space. I'm trying to clear my head. I'm trying to understand how important you are in my life. And I want to tell you the truth about how scared I am you're going to reject me. So there is a lot of this energy of being fearful of how to move forward. And everyone is in different situations and things like that. And so I would say really sitting with what is it that you want 
the universe to bring you? What is it that you're looking for? What is it that you want, need, and desire so that you can move forward? So let's look at this new person or let's look at the love that is healthy for Sagittarius. Who is this person that is healthy for Sagittarius coming in for them? How will they know who they are? Masculine energy, Taurus energy. We have Cancerian energy, very solid, very stable, nurturing energy, built like a brick house, okay? Leo energy, very like petite energy, ray of sunshine, look younger than what they are. And we have uh, Leo, is this Leo or 25? Libra, very round face, very beautiful, very loving energy. And this person is very stable and very curvy, okay? Curvy energy, okay, okay. The fourth could be important. Oh, I thought I saw something move on my screen. And the 13th could be important. Okay, let's see here. What do we got here with the gentleman? The crown. This person is very smart. They're very intelligent, okay? There's something about their tattoos or they compliment your tattoos. They like, they're really attracted to your tattoos. Um, they feel safe around you, okay? Like, almost like there's, like, this energy of feeling very safe. And they like the way you dress, okay? Or you love the way they dress. You love when they send pictures, and they love it when you do, too. There's a lot of pictures being shared, all right? Very, very interesting energy. And let's look at initials. What are these initials? Let's see. We got A for Ari. That's me. I'm just saying. I like you, Saj, but you never like me. L for Lala, Lori, Lindell. I don't know. Double O's. They could have two O's in their name and a U. Okay. So those are the initials coming through for you. Keep me posted. All right. Let's look at our beautiful couples. This is the part of the read that we look for our beautiful couples. Let's give this a good shuffle. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus because we're listening for what? Love. All right. Love. Okay. Love spell. You are feeling this. Oh, my gosh. But you're afraid about finances. You might feel like they only want you for money. There is something about moving. Somebody is deciding to move in, move out, or move up, okay? Mercury retrograde. There could be issues in communication or something that happened during the previous retrograde. Um, but everything is coming into flourishing, okay? It's getting, it's good and seen, boo. What is this love spell about? You are in love. The butterfly evolving. You want to take it to the next level, the gold digger, outdated thinking. You could be in an outdated relationship. You're moving on from someone who is not showing you that they're into you. You know what? I hate when people say, well, I, I'm very nonchalant. Well, you know what? I'm a fire sign. I'm a Leo. And I'm going to need you to be, like, super chalant about me. Like, I need you to be, like, extra chalant. Okay? Because if you're nonchalant about me, I will move on. And I'm sad. I would hope so for you. And ground yourself from the previous Mercury retrograde. Make sure that communication is happening between you guys very healthily, okay? All right, let's see here. What is your person thinking? Your person wants something to change, the death card. They are thinking about marriage. They're like, wait a minute, what's going on? And how do they see Sag as their everything, as their Six of Cups? All right, the Six of Cups for me represents in this one is like they see you growing old together. You could have kids together. It's beautiful energy. How are they acting like the star? They're trying to heal from this transformation. Some of them could be getting over like a uh, sickness. But there's also like we have death, the Hierophant, and the star right here. Your person is going through major transformations. What comes between y'all is the lovers. There's a lot of majors here. And then judgment. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six cards, you have five majors. This is huge. There is a major decision with a soulmate. Overall energy, you. Temperance. Holy moly frijoles. This is like super, super strong. You're going to see the number 555. Five, five. Okay. And there's a lot of interesting energy. What does the death card want them to know? The devil. That your person is trying to release old behaviors or they want you to, okay? They're like, what's going on with you, Sag? They're like, you've got to change. And what is what is it? What does this person think about Sag? What is their story? The two of pentacles. 
They want more balance in the relationship. They feel like very betrayed right now. What is the Hierophant about? The Knave of Cups. So this is a page of cups. They're like, wait a minute. If I don't marry you or if we're not together, are you going to go be with someone else? And they're afraid that you've moved on. Six of Wands. Some of y'all could be in a marriage and they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to go. They don't want you to leave them. The Six of Cups with the Ace of Pentacles. They're afraid that you are ready to start something new. Possibly they see you as strength or with a fi another fire sign, maybe a Leo. They're like, don't start something new with a Leo. Don't do that to me. Let's heal this. Okay, there's a lot of healing between you and your partner going on. Double star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? They feel like you're holding back. They're acting like they're holding back. There could be financial issues, but there is a lot of love between the two of you, okay? The lovers is what comes between you. What is this lovers about? The two of wands, they want to talk about things with you. They want that passion again, the knave of wands. And they want things to move in the right direction with the wheel. They want to get back on track with you. What is the decision? The magician. They want you to take control of the situation. They want to get married. Double Hierophant. This person is madly in love with you. They want to be married to you. You will be seeing the number 555 if this read is for you. And the answer is temperance with the sun. Sag, I don't know what your rising or all your other energy is, but this is about you putting yourself first and really embracing that energy. You have very strong Leo and Aquarius energy coming in and Taurus. This energy is saying you have to make a decision on how you want to move forward in this higher commitment. Is this what you want? Is this how you want to be? But there is a lot of healing happening, a lot of heart healing. Um, I don't really necessarily see a breakup or anything like that, but I do feel like there's a lot of conversations happening. A lot of majors came out in your read, so I'm going to say be very aware that you had the devil and the hierophant in this read, but you had double hierophant, not double devil. So this could either be like you're married and you need to put your marriage first, okay? Or this could be like you need to really weigh your options as you choose how you want to move forward because your partner is really wanting something to change okay so we're gonna go to the Lenormand and we're gonna see we're gonna see what is it what is it okay that you don't see coming this month in relationships we have a lot of talk be very careful there's gossip key gossip key information there's also key information coming to you about something new or about your children that makes you feel very confused okay and about a partnership there's a new partnership coming in something new is coming what do they need to how do they work through this how do they work through this we have the bear overbearing ending that energy and choosing happiness be careful with secrets this month we do have eclipse season Okay, and eclipses are always revelations, all right? So I kind of feel like in this situation, it's a matter of how you want to move forward, Sag. So proceed with caution. Let's get you some oracle. What's going on? Let's see, let's see. We have rest and rejuvenation. You need to take a break. Put the family first. And don't be afraid to leave good for great, all right? You've been thinking about it. You've been thinking about it. Appreciate your family. Appreciate that experience. And speak from your heart. Speak up for yourself. Financial issues could be affecting your relationship. Okay? So let's move into the all signs. This is going to be going from Aries to Pisces. All right? So days to remember the 4th, the 8th, the 10th, the 11th, 13th, 26th, and 24th. Okay? Because it just came to my head. I don't know why 24 came to my head. I'm going to go with it. Nope, not ready. Let's give these a good shuffle. I'm going to cut the deck. So we want justice where we feel someone has really betrayed us or made us like the target. 
So Sagittarius, there's a part of your relationship that maybe sometimes you feel like you're the scapegoat, like everyone blames things on you. And you're just like so ready for a break. You're like, can you not see that I'm really trying here, that I'm doing the best that I can? And I love you. And, and unfortunately, they're not able to see that, right? Okay, let's see here. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, no, we're not. Yes, we are. 13th and 14th could be important. Okay, here you are as the Ace of Wands. You are ready, babe. You're like, let's do the damn thing, okay? And Aries is broken hearted. Overall energy, we need to work on our communication. We need to talk about it. The 10th could be important. Here you are, a little take it easy, maybe a little too slow for Sagittarius energy. And Taurus is like, hey, can we, can we talk about this? Can we do this? And there's a lot of like, defeat going on the energy on the 12th you want to take control you want to be in control okay and gemini said you can control me all you want i'm in love okay solution be the hot fire that you are this is my little boosie card okay this is i-n-d-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what i mean you are looking hellified delicious okay the second could be important here you are, all in love, and Cancer is thinking about the past, and the solution is we need to work on our communication and teamwork. Lucky day is the 17th. Here you are, being a little bit of a, like, logical energy, and Leo feels a little hurt by you. The solution is, let's make it right, okay? Let's talk about it. Let's be fair, okay? The six could be important. All right, here you are. You're praying to your spirit guides, but you're not listening. And Virgo is praying to their spirit guides, and they're listening. And the solution is we're friends. We're supposed to make this work. So let's see what you're praying about. What is Sagittarius praying about? You have been snooping. <laughs> you're snooper, okay? And Virgo is cutting ties. And what is the solution? Somebody doesn't feel like they're enough. Somebody has a lot of insecurities going on here. Lucky day is the 15th. Okay, here you are as the Queen of Cups reverse. A little bit of emotional manipulation going on here. And Libra is done, tired, and ready to move on. And there's no stability in the home front. Solution is the 10th. I mean, lucky day is the 10th. Here you are, sexy Sag, making decisions, okay? And Libra, Scorpio is walking away. We have a lot of miscommunication going on here and a lot of things being said behind somebody's back. So we really need to pay attention to how we want to move forward. The 11th could be important. Wanting to make them changes, baby. We are the death card. And uh, Sagittarius is tired of crying. They want something different. They feel manipulated, okay? So we got to work on that. The 17th could be important. I always read for like Sages that are married to each other. Always have double Sag. I don't know. It's really interesting. Here you are, you don't feel secure, you don't feel safe, and Capricorn is like, I gotta work. I had a dream about you. Like, they are so done. And they're not listening to their intuition, and neither are you. Pay attention to the 14th. They're, they're gonna be like, I had a dream about you, and you did this. And you're gonna be like, okay, maybe I gotta go. <laughs> Sad, you are done with this ending, and Aquarius is like, let's go, let's do it. I'm coming for you, babe. You're mine. And there's a lot of promises going on. A lot of promises going on. The eighth could be important. You feel a little betrayed, a little bit heavy with the Ten of Wands. And Pisces is, we're good, we're fine. Everything is good, but it's not. There's something being withheld from you guys. So pay attention to the sixth. That is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a wonderful month. Don't be afraid to come hang out with me on Instagram and on TikTok. Take care. Be blessed. And if you want a reading, call me. All right. Take care. Happy.